Hey everyone, my name is Krupa Mechanic. I am a personality development coach and a communication trainer. So a lot of time I get a question how to be fluent in English. So fluency, first of all we need to understand what is the meaning of fluency. Fluency is about you are using the language without any fillers and without even thinking a lot in your mind. Let's say you are not translating from Hindi to English and you are not translating from any other language to English. If you are practicing this thing while speaking in English, you probably might fumble while speaking. So never ever try to translate the words which you are normally using in your mother tongue or whatever language you are speaking in your daily course. Don't try to translate it. So what can you do is you just think and uh, have a habit of talking to yourself in English language. First of all, if you really want to develop your English speaking skills and you want to develop the fluency, you have to understand fluency means putting your thoughts into the words that can everybody understand, especially the people whom you are talking with. So if the people in front of you are not understanding in English language, so there is no point to speak in English, right? So you first of all have to understand, you have to use the language which people can understand. And when we come to the point where we want to develop the fluency, it is about talking your thoughts and putting your thoughts into words right that too without any fillers without thinking too long because nobody will wait for you to speak right and also when you are speaking in english try to develop the good accent right like for example if i say like this i was going to tell you the truth and if i say it like this i was going to tell you the truth what is more attractive the second one right so try to develop the accent as well and how to do that you can watch the series american shows and everything is now available on internet and netflix and all so you can watch the netflix shows i have personally developed so many uh, so many words and vocabulary from the from some series that i used to watch so you can also do that observe what people are saying it and also observe their body language their eye contact their hand movements facial expressions and not everybody's but the people you really admire and you want to talk like them so this is my advice that if you start speaking with yourself in english there is nobody to judge right because most of the time we don't start speaking in english is that we think that what people will say and they will judge you but if you want to remove this fear from your head you have to start uh, talking to yourself not so loudly but at least we can uh, you know we we do we all do self talking right so whatever you are saying let's say uh, you are uh, making a routine of some days or you are uh, you are just talking to yourself okay today i have to go there and you are just recollecting your schedule of particular day so or the meetings right so what you need to do is self talk have a good self talk in english language so wherever you are fumbling let's say you have to stop take a pause where you don't get the proper word for some particular thing so you just find it out what what it exactly means and what the proper word is there in english language you can take the help of google and uh, 
obviously there are so many uh, exercises on google vocabulary exercises grammar exercises that are free so you can definitely use them to improve your english speaking okay it's not only about speaking you have to know the words and everything first and then you have to apply it okay so you have to learn first what particular words are there you have to even improve your vocabulary and for that i have a secret tip what i used to do and what i used to uh, apply is that whenever i heard a new word which is not already there in my dictionary so what i was doing is i would just capture that word i would remember it remember the meaning as well and then try to apply it in my speaking like uh, in my dialogues with somebody else and i would i actually just enjoyed it because people will think oh she knows this word so that was pretty much uh, fascinating for me so if uh, and most important thing in any process of learning this or your learning journey if you are not uh if you are not enjoying your uh, uh, your learning if you are not actually enjoying the process of learning you cannot you will get bored very soon and then you will leave it okay leave it i don't want to learn whatever right so but if you have that burning desire inside you start doing this thing applying this thing and also enjoy every moment of the process thank you so much this is krupa mechanic signing off i hope you have already liked this video if not then please do it and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the next video coming up video right so please do that and thank you very much एंड मुझे कमेंट करके बताइए कि आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा आप में आपको ये वीडियो में क्या अच्छा लगा या कौन सी बातें आपको हिट कर गई या कौन सा एक मोमेंट आया जब आपको लगा आहा यट्स योर आहा मोमेंट मतलब कि आपने वो सीख लिया और आप वो अप्लाई करने वाले हो सो so, कमेंट में मुझे लिख के बताइए एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिसनिंग एंड वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड बाय बाय